Our journey to diagnosis was a long and difficult one. Uh, we saw many doctors, we saw paediatricians, physiotherapists, numerous visits to A&E, our GP and speech therapists and our boys were just even about to start a special school and it was discovered by accident during a routine blood test for amino acid deficiency and um, Max was also uh, diagnosed at the same time with epilepsy. Our day-to-day -day experience of caring for a child with HCU is it's a complicated regime. It involves medicine, um, making sure that the boys have drinks at specific times during the day. It involves liaising with their schools to make sure that their um, lunches are provided with low protein. Um, they aim to uh, feed them uh, nine grams of protein for Xander and five grams for Max. So it's difficult to explain to schools how to go about with the low protein diet. We have to make our own bread, we have to plan if we're going on holiday, we have to take our bread machine with us. It's a really, really complicated regime. There are many challenges caring for a child with HCU. Uh, we have to ensure that the uh, getting the correct education, that everyone involved with their care is um, aware of how much protein they can eat per day, that they all know about the regime, how to make the drinks and that they um, take the drinks at specific times during the day at school. Um, the, the, in England where we come from they have what is called an education and health care plan and that is where the local authority has a legal obligation to provide specific um, education for that child and it also contains their health care needs and it can be a big battle to get that in place for your child. Um, both my boys attend special schools so we're lucky because the care um, that they receive is the schools are used to um, providing care for a broad spectrum of disorders so that although this um, disorder was new to them they've had to learn but they've been quick on taking everything on board so everything can be a battle to get respite from your local council anything like that it's a huge battle my single greatest hope for both my children's future is that we keep the condition under control. We keep in contact with Dr Yap, who is our physician, and we continue to manage it as best we can. And in the future, I hope that there might be a cure, but I don't know if there will be. I just hope that they can both reach the potential.